I'm back. I've been using some silver shadow scents. Mm hmm. So what I do when I want it to be really pigmented, I put on a first layer and I kind of blend that out. And then I go ahead back in with a second coat and not blend it so much, but kind of dab it in, especially in the center. So it's just gonna be popping, glowing, shimmering. This is some like alien-esque stuff. Silver shimmer, bold, bold, bold. And then I'm gonna kind of tie that down with, we'll use sandstone pearl again. Need a different brush. Let's see. Yeah, before it dries would be great. I need to wash my brushes, you guys. I'm just kind of. I like to keep this really going under the brow bone, but then just bring it down a little to kind of. Make it a gradient effect blended. See, then that just all kind of blends in. If you want to get real crazy, you can take the fact that um, Shadow Sense does have kind of a like sticky quality so if you add powder on top of that it's gonna freaking bling so I'm gonna take some of my Anastasia dream powder and let's see probably this purple here and I'm just gonna pack it in right there I could feel the fallout on that. Hope it's not on my face. So it's just gonna be like really, really shimmery. Yay! So, whether or not you use Shadow Sense and leave it alone, that's fine. You can just leave it. Um, but if you do have powder palettes that you love and like you've already paid for, you don't want to waste them, um, Shadow Sense is a great base to put underneath anything. So, I know we were talking about Sandstone Pearl earlier. And that's what I used as concealer today for just a quick job and run. Um, sandstone Pearl is also a really good one if you're just strictly using it for um, something under your powders so that your powders stick better and you don't want fallout and creasing. So that's just a pretty easy, easy job. And you can do that like with any two colors that you choose to wear. So next up, we're going to do some giddy up. This has officially been, um, I think we can call it like one of my super favorites. If you all recall back when I got, well, let's see, I got goddess last year. I was so amazed with that color. I wore it three days in a row. 
and that was a record for me. Um, I got Hurricane Red. That was freaking amazing. I wore that three days in a row. This is now going on the fourth day in a row. I have never worn the same lip color four days in a row, but I am obsessed with Giddy Up. You guys, I have two left. It's been sold out online. Distributors can't even get it. Like, don't wait. If you want this Giddy Up, you better message me quick. All right, let's, let's pop it on there. All right, you missed all that craziness, and I finally got my lipstick all the way on. So there it is. Giddy up! I need mascara. I know this. And gloss. Let's try Hurl gloss. So here's Hurl. Pearl is pretty. All right. Just so I don't leave you hanging, I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on. I'm going to use a uh, double decker. Okay. So I got to go. I got too many kids to uh, deal with today. And um, yeah. So probably going to be off of Facebook for the majority of the day. I'll try to check in. If you need me, message me. If you want to order any of the new stuff, if you need a lipstick, message me so I can put it away for you and I'll probably get to billing on Monday. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Bye guys.